This is the Akron News Now update. Hi there, I'm Lindsay McCoy. Thanks for checking us out today. We're saying farewell to a longtime 1590 WAKR radio personality, and more jobs could be created in Akron. But first, we start with the trial. It started for two women today who face animal cruelty charges. Akron News Now's Joe Jastrzemski from the courthouse has the latest. A jury pool of 26 was brought in for voir dire in the animal cruelty case against Heather Nagel, executive director of Heaven Can Wait, and her mother, Patricia Mahaley. Jury selection is expected to take the rest of the morning. Health department officials removed more than 100 animals from the animal shelter back in July 2009 because of what they called deplorable conditions. Testimony is expected to take a couple of days to complete. The defendants face 15 counts each of animal cruelty. Joe Jastrzemski, Akron News Now, Akron Municipal Court. And the Akron Board of Education came together last night to learn about the budget and a five-year forecast. Now, the board heard Treasurer Jack Pearson's report that showed that the district's revenue is less than their expenditures. Vice President of the School Board, Jason Haas, described what was said in his report. And with three new board members, Haas felt it was necessary to bring them up to speed. We talked about the restricted nature of some of our funding and also some of the other things that we've done to keep our expenses in line. In Medina, close to 100 jobs could be cut throughout the city school district by the end of the school year to offset a predicted $9.5 million deficit. The Medina Gazette reports that staff members were recently informed of the cuts via email. No word on who would be laid off, but the number of cuts to be made at each school were listed. The layoffs include 59 teachers, 20 of which will come from the high school alone. And with the possibility of more furloughs for city employees in Akron, City Council is looking at ways to see what they can do to help by balancing the budget. Pasqualic says that in order to balance the budget, some additional layoffs may be necessary. We don't see any major changes. All of the economic forecasts that we see, all of the meetings that I've been in in Washington, including meetings at the White House, even the president and his economic advisors are saying that they don't see us getting out of this quickly. So if that's the case and our revenue is still down, then we can't do anything other than to try to amend the budget to be able to deal with that. And considering our costs are 80-some percent uh, personnel, just like every other city, we're looking at how we can save money. And City Council President Marco Somerville feels that the city is backed against the wall trying to make cuts. Uh, many people are losing their jobs. Uh, you know, we have the tax revenue, property values are down. So we're kind of put in a situation where we have to make some very serious decisions about how to run the city. A plan designated to change Akron's economic future was put into motion during City Council's meeting last night. What does this mean? Akron's biomedical corridor was passed by council. Now, it's hoped that this will create jobs and aid the health care industry in the near future. And today we're saying goodbye to a longtime 1590 WAKR radio personality. You may remember Bob Allen from the Adam and Bob Show. It started in 1978 and it ended in 1991. Now, Bob is known for doing high school play by play announcing at local high school football and basketball games. Here you see him in photos with Adam with their prize winners from their show. Recently, he hosted the Saturday morning shows on 1590 WAKR, and that's where I worked with him first. So we sat down with him and Adam separately and we asked about their favorite memories while working in the radio industry. It was when my former on-air partner Adam Jones and I uh, did our morning show from 6 to 10 one morning from one of the uh, Goodyear blimps. It was the spirit of America, as I recall. We got to do our entire uh, four-hour program uh, from the blimp, and uh, everything was, was done from the air, the traffic reports and uh, everything else on the, on the morning show that particular a particular morning. Two of the things that that uh, I remember the most about doing the program from the blimp are number one, when we flew over uh, the stadium in Stowe, the high school band was out on the field that morning practicing and the band as we were flying over uh, formed HI, H -I 
uh, on the field so that we could clearly see it from the blimp. We know that it was from our benefit because we asked about it and everybody started waving to us as we flew directly over the top. The other thing is, as the broadcast ended and we're signing off the program, well, it's been fun flying over Akron these four hours this morning. Thank you so much for listening. And tomorrow is another day. And just as we're wrapping up the program, the pilot of the blimp decided to nose it down in a hurry, and he did and our little desk in front of us had all the papers fly off and we flew out of our chairs and we were laughing and everybody was laughing. The broadcast came to an end. The broadcast was over, but we landed safely. That's what I remember most about broadcasting from the blimp. With Bob, I remember we, we did our program aboard the Delta Queen. And it was very difficult to do in those days because the technology wasn't there. There weren't cell phones or any digital stuff. And what they did was along the bank, they would put, they had Marty units. And the truck would take a Marty unit up on top of a building. And we would shoot a signal to that. And then the other, other truck would be downstream. And so they would change from one unit to the other as the boat went down the Mississippi River. And it was, it was absolutely amazing. And, and uh, we got a write-up in some magazine about the technology and doing that. It was so difficult for the engineers. It was just, it was a nightmare for them, but it came off great and we had a lot of fun. And we all wish Bob and Adam the best. In weather today, we do have a chance for a wintry mix, but it looks like the snow showers throughout the rest of the week, just a slight chance for accumulation. So 31 degrees today is our high, 32 on Wednesday. For the rest of the week, we're in the low to mid 30s. Like I said, snow is likely, but we have a greater chance for snow on Saturday. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news. For News Online, On Demand Now. Don't forget, you can also follow our latest news updates on Facebook and Twitter, too. For Akron News Now, I'm Lindsay McCoy.